Hey guys, it's Brian, aka as my good buddy Derek would say, B Money from TennisMindCamp.com. Now, in today's video lesson, I have to confess something. There aren't a lot of players out there who understand a very important concept. The concept of sports nutrition when it comes to a tennis player. Now, that said, we're going to take a stab at it here today. Now, why you ask? Because it's super duper important. I mean, if you don't have the right insides, I can 110% guarantee you that your outsides will be miserable as well. Your shots, your stamina, your speed, your ability to take down your next opponent will look nothing close to eye candy. So that said, in today's video lesson, we're going to focus on beats. Okay, we're going to show you how beats can help you beat your next opponent, or at the very least outlast them. All right, so you ready? If you are, just like Pitbull would say, Dolly, let's go. Yeah. Tennis nutrition, tennis mind camp style. Beat your next opponent, 101. Now, it's funny how players talk about their mental game and superior skill set as reasons for winning big, but few, if any, players talk about food, diet, and sports nutrition as possible contributors. And that leaves a huge sour taste in my mouth. Because boy or girl are they important. I mean, anybody who's ever been involved in a match without eating properly, or eating enough for that matter, beforehand, has had to stomach the consequences, i.g. losing their legs too early, premature fatigue, improper balance, escalation of unforced errors, etc. They know that it becomes a losing or major uphill battle at the least. By failing to eat properly, you're already starting with a tremendous handicap, and that's no good at all for your results. I mean, practicing on an empty stomach, much less competing on one, can be horrible for your sports nutrition and your chance at emerging victorious. And regularly shortchanging yourself in vital nutrients, ingredients, vitamins, and minerals is, if you'll pardon the pun for a second, a recipe for disaster. Let me ask you, throughout the endless hours we spend training, conditioning, and mentally preparing, how many of us players really pay enough attention to the link between performance and nutrition, between input and output? Yeah, pretty important stuff. I mean, imagine your sports car running on low-grade Petro. Pure putt-putt status. That's what happens to you when you fail to properly fuel yourself before and after your battles on the court. That's the same thing that happened to me. Time and time again, before I finally understood the importance of this relationship. You know, nutrition and performance. Now, some people... And some players might say, well, I can eat what I want because I exercise super intensely. Uh -uh. Wrong. I don't care what game show you're on. That's the incorrect answer. Sure, exercise gets you right on the outside. You look good. But what you ingest, what you take in, it's what's going to keep you running like a Ferrari out there. Eating junk food is like trying to fuel your Lamborghini of a game with jelly beans. It just won't work. You're not going to have the boost, the burst, nor the energy that you need to be successful in the match or play at that high level that you so desire. Now, don't misunderstand me. I'm nowhere near saying that sports nutrition is the only thing that matters and training, practicing, and exercising are worthless. It's completely the opposite. If you only focus on what you eat and fail to train properly, that won't get you anywhere either. So, all that said, today we'll be looking at the beat. No, not Hashim to beat. The beat. Why? Because beets are arguably one of the best sports superfoods and can do wonders for both your stamina and your recovery. Beet sports nutrition fact number one. They're potassium packed. Now, why is potassium good? Potassium is a vital chemical element that helps regulate your body's fluid and electrolyte levels. All right, it keeps you upbeat, and you don't get that drained feeling nearly as soon. 
When you're out there playing or out there practicing, the higher your intensity level, the more you have to put back in yourself. Okay, the more you're giving out, the more you have to put back in if you want to keep going. For example, when you're out there on the tennis court sweating harder than LeBron James and Paul George in a Game 7, you need a higher amount of potassium in order to maintain that high level performance. There has to be that balance of intake and output to sustain that level of play, to sustain that endurance level and that stamina level. Otherwise, you'll probably end up with some severe cramps and retire. Ouch. And that's why these beats are so great. With a whopping 500 milligrams of potassium in each beat, you'd be hard pressed to find a more richly concentrated and more delicious source of this stuff. Beet nutrition fact number two, it decreases your inflammation. So important, so important to any player out there who sustained an injury, uh, muscle related, tendon related, uh, ligament related, even skin related. Okay, inflammation can be horrible. It hurts, it can slow you down uh, and make your strokes harder to execute. It, it can just ruin your whole day and all your chances at, the, at getting the win. Inflammation is another annoyance to us and a result of mal sports nutrition that we're unfortunately a little too familiar with at times. When our muscles get overworked and heavily fatigued from an intense on-court workout or in the gym, they respond by becoming inflamed and or swollen. And if we keep up that stress without feeding them the proper foods and supplying them with the right fuel source, our muscles might go on strike on us, refusing to work for us, holding up picket signs on us that say, two, four, six, eight, sports nutrition, just can't wait. Oh, and the worst part is, the results of inflammation don't end with mere discomfort. It can lead to something as serious as heart disease, something no athlete ever wants on his or her plate. All right, so think about your sports nutrition. It's pretty important. So when you got a match coming up, or just a workout for that matter, go ahead, put some beets on your plate next time instead of that old juicy pork chop. It'll make a difference. Betaine is a beautiful thing. Sports nutrition, chemically speaking, now we're going to get a little bit more scientific. Dig a little deeper. Okay, what's really going on inside these beets? Okay, besides the potassium, besides it helping our inflammation, what's really happening on a biochemical level? Well, it's betaine. It's one of the things that really makes the magic happen for us. The betaine found inside beets greatly reduces the inflammation in our muscles, letting you train harder without damaging your body as badly. What's more, beet greens are filled to the brim with iron, which will help promote healthy blood flow. This allows you to last longer during the most heated of tennis matches. Now I know a lot of players who are watching this video are probably thinking to themselves, beets? Who wants to eat beets? I don't want to eat beets. Those things taste horrible. My mom always tries to make me eat them. Well, your mom is on the right track. But there is a way around it. You can make your mom happy and still last longer out there on the court. If you don't like eating beets, but still want the benefit that beets bring, I got one word for you. Juice. That's right. You can juice them. And in my opinion, it tastes 10 times better and it's a lot more mobile and that you can take it out to the court with you in a thermos or a cup or, you know, one of your water bottles that you just reused. As long as you've got a cooler, you're in business. And you know what? Some reports even say that the juice by itself is even a healthier option than the beets in its solid form. Go figure, right? Point for us kids or younger players. So whatever your preference, eat or drink beets and have a higher probability of beating your next opponent. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, go ahead and check out tennismindcamp.com forward slash blog. If you haven't been there already, there's tons of tips and tricks and strategies uh, that help you win more matches there. It's all free. 
and uh, go ahead and check out. There's a course that we have that totals 19 hours in length of kick butt opponent crushing tennis tips and strategies that are really going to help you be a successful player uh, on the court as well. So check those two links out and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day and even better game.